now in this video we'll talk about the pressure volume diagram so as you can see pressure volume diagram and pt diagram that is the pressure temperature diagram are very very similar except in this plot you have the temperature the constant temperature lines having a downward trend whereas in the pt plot if you remember if i draw it in a very quick form you had this kind of a trend for a constant pressure line so in in a pt plot the constant pressure lines have an upward trend and in a pv plot the constant temperature lines have a downward trend so it shows again you know let, let's discuss the points in this so this is the uh, sub cooled liquid this is the saturated liquid line this is the liquid plus vapor region this is saturated vapor line and this is superheated vapor okay now if you look at this at constant pressure at constant temperature if you decrease the pressure so let us say you are over here at the start of your process and you are carrying it out isothermally and this is the liquid region if you decrease the pressure from point 1 let us say to point 2 okay now due to this decrease in pressure from p1 to p2 in the liquid region if you look at the change in the volume this this is the change in the specific volume okay but now if you come to the vapor region okay now you are over here and you reach here now you have this as your pressure drop which is more or less the same which is more or less the same as compared to the upper delta p so this is delta p and this is delta p same but for the same value of delta p you will have considerable increase in the volume in case of a vapor so this is what it shows you can see the amount of delta v you are going to have as compared to this so this is what it shows that at constant temperature if you decrease the pressure you have some specific volume decrease in liquid region and you have some specific volume increase in the vapor region but the specific volume increase in the liquid region is less as compared to the specific volume increase in the vapor region or you can say that the specific volume increase in the vapor region is considerably higher as compared to the specific volume increase in the liquid region at constant pressure for the same pressure drop okay so this is what the pv diagram tells you about okay so these were the three very important plots so we have covered the tv plot we have covered the pt plot and we have covered the p v plot after understanding these three plots let's now talk about the two very important points that we discovered in these three plots that is we'll first discuss about the critical point and next we'll discuss about the triple point so now let's take up the discussion of critical point in the next video